HoloLens, Alexander baja la mano. Se llama HoloLens. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. Can you hear me and everything? And then we're going to adjust it. What do you see? I see nothing now. What do you mean you see nothing? A ver, let's do. No. What do you see? No sé lo que ves. What do you I'm see? I'm scanning the area, but I can't see a single thing. I mean, you, you can. Oh, you're scanning the room. That's because the game hasn't started yet. Remember, you have to do the flower. Remember how to do the flower? I send the flower. How do you? <laughs> oh, there's your friend. Remember the one that you had to shoot the tummy first to start the game? I don't know how to shoot. Yes, you do. Pero si tú lo manejas muy bien, hombre. Is he talking? All right, point to the tummy. Is he talking still? You have to finish. Yeah. Let him finish talking. And listen. Listen what he says. Is he done? Whoa, he, he did something to me. Yeah. Now I don't know how to shoot. Put the white dot in his tummy. It's gone. All right, you're ready to start. I don't know how to shoot. Yes, you do. Like this, this? Yeah, like you always do. It's gonna start. I don't see it. Pay attention, they're coming. What are they? Right there. Okay, start killing. Like, a little whoa. closer, a little closer to your, your hand closer to your face. I don't hear very loud. There you go. Just one hand. Pero lo va persiguiendo lo que está viendo ahí. Yeah. ¿Cuántos hay? No la impresión Do you have a lot of them? Tell Emilio. Yeah. Emilio needs to know what you see. Muchos. ¿Cómo que muchos? Uno. ¿Cómo que muchos? Uno. A ver, pero cuéntanos, ¿qué es lo que está viendo? Oh, I shot it. You shot it. Two more. Are the good ones there yet? ¿Qué es no. ¿Qué es escandaloso? The ones that... No, they're not there. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I can hear them, Alexander, I can hear them. Watch it, watch it. Other guys in the camera. I can walk over to you guys. 
Did you, Did see you guys the, maybe uh, the scanning beam? Yeah. That text. I'm officially you over you guys. guys. If you can see that. Is that you guys flying Inside. the drone? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hello. Uh, Carlo, if you look up, you'll see the drone. Ah, there it is. Hi. Yeah. So that's really cool. Dukes, are you guys allowed to uh, change the, the what's what the drone scans? Are you allowed to? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm change it to radar. Radar? Yeah, radar. Yeah, radar. Yeah, it's radar. like radar. Okay. Okay. And Kyle, do you see that? Yeah, that I see. Changes it. on your screen. That's cool. All right. Oh, he's on the move. Yeah, the drone's definitely moving faster than Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> maybe just a little faster. <laughs> just a little bit. I try to keep up when I can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. All right, so Kyle, I'm going to have you aim to get over right here in the middle of... If you look into where the ruins are of the uh, the, the You mosque. can see the pin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll put another... I should probably take location. Hey, Jay, we see your camera. You can? Yeah. Okay, I got a new name for you guys to come and try to find. Are right, you ready? Here we go. So oh, I have a new pin down called find this location. Hopefully you guys can see. That's pretty cool. I see you, Carl. You're very tiny. You're moving. You're almost there. Yeah, you made it. How oh, nice. All right. When you guys scan with the drone, do you see any different uh, information coming from the, the scans? What are we looking at? So what we're looking at here is basically this is a demonstration that uh, allows us to communicate across multiple different platforms. So uh, I'm using a tablet, and Kyle's using the Cyber Rift mixed with Oculus Rift. And then Michael and James are using a table basically with uh, 3D capabilities so that they can see uh, what is a reconstruction of an actual location in uh, Al Balid? Um, Where is that? It's in Yemen. It's near. Uh, it's it's along the coast. This is a representation of Yemen, from a this, town yeah, in Yemen. So right now, yeah. So what we're seeing is uh, a 3D model, which was a reconstruction uh, of what the mosque could have possibly looked like back then. And if James and both uh, Michael and James hide it, we'll see what it looks like as of today. And basically what we're seeing now is just the raw data that we got from a 3D scan from a drone. Uh, and we also have a 3D drone representation in the scene that Michael and James are controlling, yeah. uh, as you can see. So it scans the ground and it can sh reveal like the, just the height map and the top topology uh, and different features like that. But, but uh, can you explain to me what is happening uh, uh, technically? You don't have to show this all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So technically what we're seeing is uh, this is using augmented reality. So on this table is basically a repeated tile texture. We used rocks. Could have been anything. Um, and we have programmed, the students have programmed, that when this device sees this texture, it displays the 3D mesh. Uh, and it's all real time. So Kyle is actually in the 3D environment. He's always in it. He always sees it. He's not using augmented reality. He's in virtual. He's in the world. He actually walks through the space uh, using the Cyber Rift. Uh, Cyber Rift? Cyber Rift. Yeah. What is that? It's basically, uh, I would say it's like a neat game pad or it's a treadmill. It's an omni treadmill. Yeah, it's an omni treadmill. Uh, it's great for exercise. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's only two in the world. Really? And we, we have had the privilege of having it here, which has been great. Uh, keeps our students healthy. <laughs> uh, and then also Michael and James uh, are on the tablet, on the table that actually one of our students built the, uh, the base for it so that the two monitors are basically together as a table. Uh, and on it, it's using a tracker, which uh, on James and Michael are wearing uh, these special 3D glasses. And one of them has sensors uh, and same thing with the controller. The controller has a, a, something that's being tracked so that where they position and where they click, 
the drone goes to that location. And while they're doing that, Kyle and I can see that happening live in real time, which is the main feature is like, okay, you know, how do we get multiple devices all from different capabilities being able to read and interact in the same scene at the same time? And that is what has been drawing a lot of attention and actually it's been a lot of fun working with, so. I'll just say. Okay, we just disappeared. Yes. Not yeah, don't, that's okay. All right, so we gotta start, no? Yeah. All right, so I want to show you the last things that we've done. Okay. So you can um, take a look and see what you think, because that's what we are right now. So one of the main things we've done, that, and I think you haven't seen this yet, is we have improved the visual quality. So well, now this is you see wonderful. his uh, muscles and all that has a more realistic feeling oh, on it. And uh, we've done the same thing yeah. on the inside. We're still working on the labels. Uh, they're still a little bit too big but this is the part where we start uh, looking at the different aspects of uh, the anatomy. Oh, this is wonderful. You know, I remember my, my first cadaver, and had I been able to do this with a cadaver, it would have been so much more enriched learning experience. You know, when you get, you know, Carolina, have you ever, have you ever had a cadaver, a real cadaver, no? No, no, I've never seen a real <laughs> cadaver, you, uh, and I don't think I want to see one. But. Well, I, I'm greatly uh, uh, honored to have had a, my, a, a cadaver, and they've taught me a lot, and I remember my very first cadaver very, very well. But, you know, they're, they're very expensive to keep. Uh, they're messy, and they're smelly. In fact, when you work on a cadaver that has been infused with formaldehyde, the, the clothing you work with you got to leave it in, in a locker that's, that's going to be aired out later on because you can't go walking around the city with those clothing. So this eliminates that. that and, and the nice thing about it, when you take something off, if you take a muscle out or you take the patient's intestines out, you can put them back in. And, you know, when I did my cadaver and we dissected the intestines oh, out, <laughs> we couldn't put them back in. So this is wonderful. Let's see if I can put this one back yeah, in, see, if yeah. I remember. There we go. That there you go. Back see, in. you've taken the intestines out and you put it back. You know, the other great thing about this is that unlike the cadaver, which was for healthcare providers, particularly medical students, this can be used by, by all of us in, in, in elementary schools. You know, I can envision, you know, you can have a, a young uh, group of individuals wanting to know more about their bodies and health. Mm -hmm. And they could be standing here and they can take off a muscle and then they will learn that this muscle, the triceps or the bicep muscles, and then they can turn the patient over. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, we can you look can, at the neck, which is the part the that neck. you like so much. Oh, that's I your, love the neck. That's your neighborhood. That's my neighborhood. You're right. I live an awful lot in, in the neck Unless as, we a, can get as a, a neurosurgeon. Closer. Get all the different pieces. So I don't know. Do you want to? I have a feeling. Did he say I'm six? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right. Alexander, remember, you got to explain Reese what you're doing, and then you have to let him try, okay? I don't know. I do not remember how to change color. Uh, I know which one is the You're getting surrounded by fire, Reese. Reese, you're surrounded by fire. I know that. You're going to get killed by the fire. <laughs> you're getting out of fire. <laughs> 